In today's video, we are back once again on Pets Go, where today we are going to be checking out the massive upcoming update, update 1. And no, I'm not joking when I say this update's massive. For example, have a look over here. There's 80 new upgrades, with some of them looking pretty interesting, you know, some kind of better chest, angel, special kind of dices. And as well, there is also a new huge for us to go ahead and try and unlock. However, just before we jump into today's update, just want to quickly say, if you do end up enjoying it and want to see more, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button with notifications on. And yeah, once you're done with all of that, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first things first, let's quickly wait a little bit so then the update can drop, since yes, I am recording it a little bit early. As you can see, there is still one whole hour for the update to drop, and as well, apparently in around two minutes, there's also going to be some kind of lucky party, which not gonna lie, I do kind of need right now, since I believe on this account, I'm sitting at around like 150 hours or something like that of AFK grinding. So yeah, hopefully this lucky party is gonna be good. Uh, but apart from that though, let me just AFK here for like an hour, and I'll catch you guys once we are in update one. And okay, there we go, the Inferno update is now out. And it seems like they have added quite a lot of stuff. For example, like we mentioned before, there's a new huge pet along with new eggs that give you new pets, new quests. And as well, it seems like they've also added some kind of pets charm boost. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work like how it is in Pet Simulator 99, but I guess we'll have to see. Then when it comes to the upgrades, there is so much. There's the blazing dice, pet bounty, magnet, flying gifts, XP and rebirth. And the list just goes on and on. Shiny fruits, more potions, some kind of merchant. Yeah, I think there's only one logical thing to do, and that is going to be jumping right into the update. So let's go ahead and have a look at the upgrade menu, and let's see, where should we start off? Maybe over here at the main page. Let's see what these blazing dice are all about. Every 1000 rows, your dice turns blazing. Alright, I guess this is just going to be kind of like the better version of the rainbow maybe uh, and then this will increase its luck then as well less rolls uh, increase roll speed temporarily sure why not and just like that it seems like the main page is done which means that we can go ahead and head on over here to these other upgrades such as pet bounty with you know more bounties and whatnot all of that good stuff and then apart from that this page seems relatively done I mean, yes, there are still the eggs, but I'm not going to spend 90 million yet, just in case if maybe there are better boosts I should go for first. For example, Magnet, I definitely want that. This will, this is definitely going to make, you know, AFK grinding so useful. And so we have a super chest, more super chests, a chest wizard, where apparently every 10 mini chests you break, a regular chest will instantly spawn. All right, I'll definitely take that. And then this one's just going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, then coin related stuff, flying gifts. And then now the prices are starting to get a little bit expensive. You know, 1.9 million, 2 million. But that was no problem for us to max out because, you know, I saved up a bunch of coins. And then just to point out some of the really important ones, I think this just uh, makes it where like the type of stuff that you get from the gifts are going to be like really rare items. Or at least that's how it seems to be like. Um, but apart from that though, that is now done, which means that we can move on over to another subsection, this time the boost, why not? And alright, it seems like we have a brand new recipe to make shiny fruits. Now that's pretty interesting. Probably these like shiny versions are going to be like the normal ones, except maybe like two times better or something like that. I guess we'll have to find out, you know, once I craft them. And then what about the potions over here? Ooh, look at this. I'm seeing so much cool stuff. There's batch crafting, which basically makes uh, you able to craft multiple potions at once. There's higher tiers for other potions, for example, the tier six and tier 7 lucky potion now i definitely want to craft that as soon as possible because the boost is gonna give is probably going to be really broken and then better cocktail tier 4 and then okay vending machines you know that will give you uh, that little bit extra luck sure why not 
being able to get instant potions as well wow it seems like that they've made this update really op for like all types of players regardless if you're free to play or not and speaking about really op things there's also a blazing dice potion which i guess is just going to be replacing the rainbow dice for you know the best potion that you can get in the game or maybe the second best since you know there is the instant luck but then again i'm still not sure how much of a boost it gives but considering that it's like every a thousand trolls it must be pretty good but anyways apart from that though it seems like that the merchant that we saw before in the update log is going to be kind of like the vending machine except you know it's a merchant and then all of these upgrades just like make it easier to buy from for example more options uh having more stock uh, and then as well what else there is a cheaper prices guess the game is kind of trying to really push you to you know use the merchant hopefully it's going to be really good and then there's going to be an xp rebirth where apparently you reset at level 200 but then you get some kind of really op rewards okay not entirely sure what that is going to do but apparently there's an upgrade to make the rewards better so hey i'll take it but yeah apart from that though i think uh, the majority of the upgrades, if I uh, read correctly, is now done. With the last few things being, you know, eggs and whatnot. But you know what? That's fine. I'm completely happy since in the end, I didn't really like grind out that long to get, you know, the 400 million coins. Only like a few days of just, you know, simple AFK grinding. And just have a look. From a single chest that I broke, you get so many rewards. Just look at them flying across the screen. I guess the game wasn't kidding when it said that, you know, you'll get a bunch more rewards from the breakables. And, but what about this one, though? This seems to be like a really special uh, chest. I think it's the one that I had just unlocked before. This one over here, the, the super chest, I think it's called... Uh, let's see, is it going to be dropping a bunch of items, but like higher quality, so you know, like instant luck potions and whatnot? Let's have a look and see. Uh, fruits, normal potions, no, it doesn't seem to be be so or at least maybe that time i don't know maybe i got a little bit unlucky or something like that i don't know if i break one in the future and it gives me something really good i'll let you guys know but anyways let's move on to the merchant over here since this should technically be like the kind of special star of the show um we can buy lucky potions from here in exchange for coins all right five million coins for two instant luck two potions not gonna lie that might be a really good deal in fact i think i'm actually gonna buy it so then you know that way i have that extra little bit lucky potions and then apart from that though i'm not sure if there's really that much uh, other things i want to buy i mean i already have more than enough golden dice potions so there's not really a point to getting that and oh hold on a second apparently we got three blazing dice potions not entirely sure where i got that from but hey i guess i'll take it not gonna lie if i can get just three more of those i might be able to pair them up with these instant luck three potions so that and that's why when i open them i get max luck but then again i don't know how exactly you can get them like for example can you get them from maybe the merchant only or maybe can you craft them actually i wonder and yes you can all right uh you can get a blazing dice potions in exchange for only two lucky potion fives now that's really good ah oh, but here's the i guess the counterpart you need to spend shiny rainbow fruits um how on earth do you make those are those just like uh you have to like craft the same types of fruits over and over here there's a craft shiny section over here and then if i for example exchange 18 of them I need to make 18 rainbow fruits just to get one shiny rainbow fruit. Yeah, not gonna lie, that is pretty expensive. But then again, I'm really curious. If I were to, let's say, craft 25 of these shiny apples, can I then make a shiny fruit from, you know, those shiny apples? No, it doesn't seem so. Oh, that was a little bit unfortunate and probably a huge waste of money. In fact, I'm pretty sure I spent like 
2.5 million or something like that on just a few of these shiny apple fruits which i guess means that you guys need to kind of be careful on you know what you are crafting because if you're not careful enough you're gonna you're gonna end up spending like your whole wallet on something you don't even need so yeah for those reasons just make sure that you know you're not gonna do something dumb like me and you know waste a bunch of your money but anyways let's get back on track now if i'm not mistaken Yes, I crafted the Blazing Dice Potions, which now puts me at eight of them. Not too bad. Wait, hold on a minute. What am I saying? That's really good. Because now I can open up six of these Instant Luck Potions with Max Luck. And maybe as well, considering that the update kind of made, you know, grinding really easy, I might be able to make another Lucky Potion or maybe even just outright buy one. Let's see. No, at this very moment, there doesn't seem to be any. Except this cocktail over here. But only 6.2 million. I think I'm going to buy that. Actually, you know what? Since the game decided to bless us with, you know, a cocktail potion, let's end off the video with a bang by opening all of the potions, which I showed you guys before. In fact, yes, I can make two more instant lucky three potions just like that, which is now putting me up to eight but as well not only that let me make sure if i have all of the right fruits yes i have some shiny oranges some shiny rainbows i think that's everything that we're going to need in order to have maximum luck so let me just quickly stop the auto roll for just a moment so then that's where you know i don't accidentally waste any of these potions then let's go ahead and pop all of my shiny fruits and normal fruits just like that and then let's go ahead and let's pop a tier 7 lucky potion um a blazing dice potion a golden dice potion a rainbow dice potion and as well the cocktail and now my luck has probably gone skyrocketing at least i hope so and then of course last but certainly not least we can go ahead and pop an instant luck and boom let's roll and let's get something good <laughs> A 1 in 200k. Alright, that's not what we want to see. You know what? That's fine. That's only one time, you know, really unlucky fluke, whatever you call it. This is when we're going to get something good. Okay, I take that back. We're going to absolutely fail miserably. Alright, one more time. Third time's a charm. That's what people say. Uh, are we going to keep on going up? Like, we, we got 1 in 200k. 1 in 250k and now 1 in 290k is, is something going on i don't know about you guys but to me it feels like the game is playing a massive joke on me uh, and oh yeah by the way just in case if you guys are curious in order to get the dark matter dice you know the one that we saw in the leaks um all you have to do is you need to pop a blazing dice a rainbow dice and a golden dice and then for some reason apparently it all mixes up into dark matter or something like that uh, I'm not complaining, of course, because all that really means is more luck for me to get something good. Another, We literally got this like five seconds ago, no? The game's trolling me. I, I refuse to believe I actually have this bad luck. Like, there's, there's no way. Come on, at least one in 500k. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm pretty sure we're on the last batch of potions. Yeah, literally the last one. So it all comes down to this. And honestly, I'm not even that excited anymore. Let, let's just do it, okay? Come on. Come on. All right, I, I got the one in 500k that I asked for. I, I guess I'll take it. Well, once again, it seems like we're going to be ending off the video on another massive L. You know what? It's fine. It's fine, though, because the game made it really easy to grind items now. So I'll probably get all of those potions back in like... I don't know, maybe a day of just, I don't know, running around and stuff. Or at least something like that. Uh, but yeah, apart from that though, I think I am just gonna get back to, you know, running around, grinding and whatnot. So then that's why hopefully by the next time that you see me, I might be able to do a video or maybe an update video where I go ahead and instead of opening up like eight potions or something like that, I'll do an even crazier number. Like... I don't know, maybe 30, 40, maybe even 50 plus. I guess it's all just going to have to depend on, you know, how OP uh, the devs have made, you know, grinding items now. But until then, if you guys did end up enjoying this video and, you know, want to see more, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button with notifications on. And also comment down below, did you have a luck like me? Or maybe did your guys luck cook? Because if I go ahead and open up the chat over here, it seems like some of you guys are cooking, you know, 1 in 777 million the new huge cat the one in eight billion hopefully one day my name's going to be up there but <laughs> that's uh, that's not happening anytime soon but anyways apart from that once again thank you guys so much for watching and peace out